Alright guys, and welcome back to more Danganronpa 2. We are back, and we are about to hop right back into Danganronpa 2. To basically, I think we have to do a rebuttal with Nagito. So, here we go. Damn it, I don't want to do this. I hate this part. I still don't know it. Huh? The hole. What kind of hole? Oh boy. It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. Oh my god, this guy. I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> that sounded like one, bro. Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime. <laughs> Will you battle against me? Mihiru looks like a feminist. Oh my life. Oh my life. She's the hugest feminist. Feminist in video games. Oh my god. No, that's wrong. Whoa. You're wrong. Your mom's wrong. Your daddy's you wrong. Be able to break through my argument? What does he mean, battle? It sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. There's no way I'm going to lose against someone like him. Alright, so what do they give me? Rebuttal showdown. Night vision goggles, storage room, tablecloth, party dishes, fire door. Night vision goggles. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He couldn't see because of the fire door. It's dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? All right, so I already know the fire door basically. But oh, Teru Teru is the killer, isn't he? He has to be at this point. I I wouldn't have guessed it. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? So I have to cut everything he says, right? Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Alright, here we go. I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen uh, it? I didn't want to cut that. I, I did it too all, late. He was walking near the hallway, right? All right, I get it. I get it. The, the fire Kazuichi door. Couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? Yeah. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway. Oh, that's not it. Crap. All right. Okay. Let's the see. The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office. Was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? After all, he was what? walking near the hallway, right? I know it's the fire door. I already know it's the fire door. The reason Kazuichi couldn't see it was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? All right, there we go. <laughs> I knew it was the fire door, homie. Your new me game mechanics just got me, you know, Naruto, did you thrown forget? off. Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? Let's go. Let's go, Nagito. There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Bro, I can't believe it. The pervert's the first to go. Plus. The hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? Now who cares about that right now? Oh boy. Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. Are you kidding me? Y'all gonna grill me? You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? Deep breath, deep breath. Let it go, let it out, let it go, let it out. You sure like to piss us off. 
How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. What? More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? And just in case, can I save the game? Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving the game. I'm, I'm not sure if they're gonna have that dumb, you put the comic together, because I hated that, because that took way too long to put together in the first game. If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. So you're telling me to call out the real killer, even though I don't really, even though I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway's fire door as cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark, snuck under the floorboards to stab Yaki to death using the glowing ping as his mark. The only killer I can think of is. You and only you. To do, to do. It has to be him because he, he's the only one who had access to the area. Because if you looked at the map, he was the only one who could have done it. Homie, where you at? You sweating? Why are you sweating, homie? You're the only one. You're the only one, fat ass. Terry, Terry. Could it be you? talking about Terry Terry's the killer you may be short but you're true? still fat what are you talking about there's no way of course that's simply my assumption so if you have an objection please speak free uh, objection or not why am I being treated like the killer because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen that's it that's the only reason you're treating me like a killer isn't that a little drastic you're cruel Cruel. Too cruel. Ah, too terrible. For the ultimate cook to get so upset. Call me chef. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? Oh boy. The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You, you're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? I don't know. Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. <laughs> Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light and that they used the fire door to mask that light. This dude is basically Edgeworth on crack. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. It's dark under the floorboards, too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? The glowing light of the knife! You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? Glow? Glow paint? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. Truth bullets. Alright, now this is... What do I present here? The liquid was the, uh... Was the paint, right? Do I present the knife? 
There was no sign that the body was dragged. I think it's the knife. I can prove it. Ah, here we go. I thought so. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person, they just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. This dude is in- what the hell? But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Right. Well, Teru Teru! <laughs> Cause I'm about to beat your ass either or you dead, boy! Seriously? <laughs> I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? Damn, this dude is like Von Karma on crack with Edgeworth times together on crack. <laughs> He's on crack, please! Now, Quit dragging now. this out! We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. The same Phoenix, right? If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! This sounds like Chloe Valings from Conception 2. You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Why would you say just in the kitchen? It's a blackout, Teru. dummy! Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? He could have been easily under the freaking floorboard when he said that. That's right. That's exactly it. But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So why was he in the dining hall? Because he was under the fucking floor. I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. You ran out of there oh, without running into anything. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. So, if you want, you should try licking me. No way! You look greasy! Oh, I didn't let him do the rawr. But I heard Tara Taro's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Taro Taro was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means... He's not the killer. Nigga was under the floorboard! You would be able to hear his voice because of the holes in the floor! Holes in the floor? Holes in the floor! You thought I was gonna do that this playthrough, but I did it. <laughs> holes in the ground! No, that's not it. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Teru Teru! The gaps in the floorboard! Gaps in the floorboard! I bet you it pops up! Gaps in the floorboard! Gaps in the floorboard! What did I say? Gaps in the floorboard! Gaps in the floorboard! Board, 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 gap, 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 gaps. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. We're gonna see what he all says first, though. I don't want to be too trigger happy. I <laughs> see what I did there? I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome. I like his face. <laughs> Maybe it was recording or something? Nah. Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. Gaps in the floorboard, homie. There's definitely a contradiction hidden within those remarks. I need to find it. 
Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to- I was somewhere totally- I definitely heard Terry. It's handsome! I'm like- Maybe it was a recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice! Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be- Oh! <laughs> Counter! <laughs> Gaps in the floorboard, gaps in the floorboard. Just because we heard Terra Terra's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Uh huh? But why? If it wasn't for Persona 2 internal punishment and his pitfalls, I would have never been able to solve this case. No. <laughs> Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. The pieces are coming together. But, 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 nothing! I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining room. Is that true, Teru Teru? Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? Wait a minute! I told you to wait a second, ain't I? <laughs> what are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout! <laughs> <laughs> in that there dining hall during the blackout, he's country. All that talk about him being like near the country, about how he doesn't want to go to the country, he is country. Oh my god, dude. He's like, he's like Maximilian Galactica. Where are you from again? I was born in West Asabu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys, this guy's a major liar. He's a phony. If Taro Taro was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! <laughs> <laughs> I love that! Something like this should be decided by gut instinct. <laughs> People's lives are at stake. <laughs> I was holding the whole damn time! <laughs> oh shit! Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! <laughs> His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! <laughs> However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No! Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? His memories? Right, yeah, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Damn! I probably can. Go oh, you again! The pictures, homie, the pictures! Whether or not Teratru was in the dining hall during the blackout was in order to know for sure. I just need to throw that question at him. The pictures, right? Hey, where were you standing, homie? Well, you lose. Where is it? I might be wrong, though. I might be wrong. It might be the storage room tablecloth again. What's the problem? I need to throw that question at him. Hmm. I need to throw that question at him. What did he say that be what did he what did he say before that? Damn, I can't even look at the transcript, homie. Oh, the embarrassing pose! The embarrassing pose! Should we do it? Should we risk it all? No, right, we can't risk it all, but should we jump? Should we go with it? Let's go with it. I can prove it. Yep! <laughs> Let's go! If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time. Well, what? Don't make me remember. It's so embarrassing. 
No, this is a very important question. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um... It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're giving this man hints, You're giving him clues. Calm down, Mikan. Uh, how about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru. <laughs> Gotta take this picture. Um. Um. Huh? Uh, uh, that's weird. Just slipped from my mind. Nah, 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 nah. Especially you. You would have remembered everything. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so, <laughs> Nagito, say something! <laughs> Nagito ain't Edward! Ain't your lawyer! Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. <laughs> Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru, I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. <laughs> the killer? The killer? Killer in vanilla? Huh? <laughs> but it's already decided, right? The vanilla killer. Now, <laughs> the one that had to be cleared up yet, chef? The iron skewer. The iron skewer, homie. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Yeah, it is pretty sad. Sad for him. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? What? <laughs> where's the weapon? On, where's the Nagi. weapon, homie? Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um. He said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? The weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Pyakuya's wounds, it was a thin, edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Iron skewer. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all! <laughs> Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? <laughs> what? Um, he said, try to do it. <laughs> Wanna do it? Wanna do it? <laughs> what a confusing accent. <laughs> we need to think and focus about this. A thin edge tool with a diameter of about 50 millimeters. And at least 50 centimeters in length. I guess we'll have to find out on that, you know. The next episode of Danganronpa 2. I think we all know what's going to happen. So it's not really a cliffhanger. So I'll see you guys next time for more. Danganronpa 2. Danganronpa 2. We're going to play that there. Danganronpa 2. You know? <laughs>